the cycle of weed addiction and how I finally quit. I started smoking weed at a young age and at first I really enjoyed it. I had consequences right away as well, but I did really enjoy the feelings of creativity and spirituality and the way my brain processed music. I mean, I liked that stuff. Well, I, but I got stuck in this cycle where I would smoke weed and I would have all these creative ideas would just come flooding into my mind. I would get all excited about life. And the next day, rather than taking any action on those creative ideas, I would just smoke more weed and have that same experience. Ah. And what happened was nothing got done. I never moved forward with anything. This is my experience. I know if you're Joe Rogan or Snoop Dogg, you're killing it. If you're hanging out with those guys and if it's working for you, I don't know why you'd be watching this video, but I'm not trying to take your weed away. I'm just sharing my experience. And what, would ha what happened is I got stuck in that for years. And then what would happen is I would have these emotions that I knew I could be doing better in my life. And I knew that weed was blocking me. And I would get depressed. I would walk, I would be low grade depression. And then I would smoke some weed and listen to some Bob Marley and go, oh, I'll, I'll quit tomorrow. And I got stuck in that, that loop for so many years. It's, it's really humbling to, to accept how long I did that. And what would happen is, is I tried quitting so many times. And here's the first key to, to how I quit was, what would happen is I would, I would quit and my life would get kind of flat. I wasn't getting my dopamine from my weed. And I would get this thought like, well, I can just smoke once in a while. People have told me this before, uh, 420 people say, well, just change your relationship to weed. So that sounded like, what a great idea. I'll change my relationship to it. And I would take another hit and bam, I was right back into the same cycle over and over and over again. So the first thing I had to do when I finally quit weed was let go of that belief that weed serves me in any way and that I can control it in any way. I, once, I, I needed to be completely abstinent from it. Another problem I had was I would get some time not smoking weed and I would go hang out with some buddies that smoked weed and they would say, it's only weed, you can smoke weed. And in that moment, it, it made sense. Like, yeah, it's only weed, I can smoke weed. And then bam, I would be right back locked in on it over and over and over again. So another thing that, that really blocked me from being able to walk away from weed was when I would quit smoking weed, I wouldn't change anything else. I would just quit smoking weed. I wouldn't cultivate new relationships or learn new skills or follow through with any creative endeavors. I would start but then I would quit, I would get depressed, I would get this like feeling like I'm just, there's just something wrong with me. And then I would get the romance of a hit of weed again. And I would go through the same cycle again. I would start again, get these creative ideas, feel great and think my life's gonna take off. And bam, I was right back in the cycle. So what I had to do was I had to change and I also, I, I really had to change the people that I was hanging out with. I needed to cultivate relationships with people who didn't smoke weed. There's a Jim Rohn quote that I really like, and that is, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if, hey, if you're surrounded by weed, if you're hanging out with Joe Rogan and Snoop Dogg, and they're really as well adapted to daily weed use as, as it, it looks like they are, and all your friends are kicking ass and they're famous artists and there's no consequences to their weed use, don't quit weed, man. That was me, I wouldn't quit weed. But that wasn't the case for me. I was uh, hanging out with just stoners who were just, you know, getting by in life. They're nice people, don't get me wrong. If you, any of you guys are seeing this, <laughs> take it easy on me. Hey, you know, I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just saying uh, it wasn't working for me. What did help was starting to cultivate relationships with people who didn't smoke weed and realize that most people aren't daily weed smokers. I shouldn't say that in this day and age, there's a lot of daily weed smokers. 
And it's become so casual and light in our culture that it's almost like uh, you're criticized for wanting to not smoke weed every day. At least in my culture and, and the people that I hung out with, for sure, that was the case. That was my experience with the cycle of my weed addiction and some key points on how I was able to finally quit. If you found any value in that, please subscribe. Peace.